Hello, welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 65. And we have this problem. We have 4, this is a dot, 2 equals 6 over 2 equals 3. And here, this example, we have 7 dot 3 equals 10 over 4 equals 2 and a half. Right, so thank you for joining in today and to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems. Right, so let's dive into this. Let's look at this. Now, uh, what was done? What does this dot signify? Right, so we're going to try to find three. To find three. Let's work on this. So we're going to have four plus two equals 6 and 4 minus 2 we have 2 all right so 6 divided by 2 is 3 so that was what was done so to find 2 let's find this 2 so we simply have 4 here minus 2 and we have that 2 okay so let's find six to find six we have four plus two that's this four plus two equals two okay and to find to find four let's find this four we're going to have six minus two six minus two equals four and to find to find this two here we're going to have we're going to have four minus two that's four minus this two equals two or we can say six minus four which is two all right so the same goes for this so let's work on this as well to find two and a half all right so we're going to have seven plus three is ten and seven minus three is four so ten divided by four you have two whole number one over two right so i know some of you will be wondering how why two whole number one so here we have two whole number two over four right so we're going to reduce this to the lowest term two divide two one and two divide four is two so that's how we came about this right so to find ten we have seven plus three seven plus three is 10 to find 4 we have 7 minus 3 is 4 right now as you can see it works for uh, both sides please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems then next to find 3 to find 3 we can have our 10 minus 7 is 3 or we can have a 7 minus 4 is 3 right so uh that's all for this thank you for joining in and do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems bye